Fury Road. This movie was incredible. There are it's just movies, and then there's Fury Road. It kicked our asses so much, it kicked our mama's ass. No other film will ever be better than Fury Road. He's sitting in the theater like this. Fury Road is the greatest film ever, and I have not even seen it. Oh my god, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life. It is everything that you want and more. Let's go watch, see this movie. My name is Critic, and my world is Mad Max. As the internet went more batshit crazy for Fury Road, it was hard to tell who was more batshit crazy. Me, or everyone else. Yes, I am the one who runs from both the fanboys and the haters. I mean, it's good. Really good. But is it the masterpiece everyone praises? Hell, I have to be careful. Even just thinking that can piss off some extreme fanboys out there. No, like... <laughs> What's this we hear about you hating Gary Road? I never said I hated, I thought it was good. Good? <laughs> Don't you know on the internet that's the same as saying it's bad? Well, I just thought it was short on story and not very practical. <gasps> Did you hear that impractical joke? It is not about the logical necessity, but the excuse to display the amazingly action-packed awesomely awesomeness. We even have a station running 24-hour Mad Max imagery so that the people can see how superior Fury Road is. Honestly, I always thought Thunderdome was the best one. Yeah! Yeah! Mediocre! Destroy him, my fanboys! Destroy all of his mediocrity! Pitch Perfect 2 beats Mad Max. And a Kendrick is so overrated. Stop him! Nobody likes Thunderdome the best in my cave house thingy. You can't beat the Fury Road, Raggedy Man. Even Master Blaster thinks it's bad. Fury Road better! Thunder Damn Week! Fury Road better! Thunder Damn Week! No! Drive! Worst braces ever. Just drive! Says who? My foot! Treason! Betrayal! And enjoy your Thunderdome! Ride, my beloved fanboys. Show him a world of excess testosterone. Ah! Ah, watch it! You watch it! You're with me! Ah! Here, apply your never fully explained silver chrome. This isn't chrome, it's cake glaze. Oh, what a glaze. What a lovely glaze! Yeah, that's the one we're going with, blow me. He always had to wear shit on his face. Ah, fucking Fury Road. What? You didn't like it? No, I did. It was good action. It was a great rush. But why does that make a masterpiece? Oh, so you're one of those first two films people. Actually, I like Thunderdome the best. Did Tina Turner's popularity drop recently? Sorry, but no one likes Thunderdome the best. What is with everybody's hatred of Thunderdome? We'll just sit here until you take it back. <sighs> What's your name? Curiosa. Curiosa? Aren't you curious how I can like Thunderdome more than the other films? Even Fury Road? Just keep driving and I'll explain. Well... <sighs> Mad Max never hit number one at the box office. Ah! Many were surprised Fine. by this, but... <sighs> we're running well on fuel. Boost the engine with some intense fast motion stairs! Okay, so we know the Mad Max movies take place in an apocalyptic future where ex-cop Max loses his family. In Fury Road, he saves the abused wives of a religious dictator who controls all the water. It also gives us arguably some of the best action in movie history. Right. But does incredible action and an adrenaline rush equal a great film? You do have a penis, don't you? 
Okay, but 96% on Rotten Tomatoes great? Oh, it got 96%? That's awesome. Yeah, until you realize that according to the critics, that technically means it's better than Pulp Fiction, Fargo, Jurassic Park, Exorcist, Die Hard, Hunt for Red October, Terminator 2, and every Indiana Jones movie. Really? I think people got so hyped up on the adrenaline that they forgot it's just a simple chase movie. And what makes your precious Dr. Dome less mediocre? Because the chase is only the climax. The rest is character, story, and unforgettable lines. Who said the first two films didn't have memorable lines? Name one right now. Oh, what a lovely... That's Fury Road. Witness me! Fury Road. It's Fury Road, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now, quote some lines from Thunderdome. Oh, I know. Raggedy Man. Who runs Barter Town? Master Blaster. Two men enter, one man leaves. Exactly. You remember it more because it was more engaging. It broke up the action with good writing and twists and turns. It was just better storytelling. Hey, just because we don't have a lot of talking doesn't mean we're not telling our story. We're telling our story through strong visuals and through strong acting. Oh, come on. The acting's good, but... Tell me what I'm thinking by just looking at my stairs. You're on a mission and you're not gonna fail. Right. And this one? <sighs> you're afraid of what's gonna happen to those you swore to protect. You got it. And this one? Jesus! <laughs> Get back here, you fucking nuts! Stick. We ever meet bazookas? It's bloody stick! Ah! Under the seat! Under the seat! Ah, I can't find it! Look in the box that says stick! I never learned how to read! <sighs> they're gaining on us! No, I was doing remorse. No, I mean they're gaining on us! That's weird ass guitar guy. No, I mean, who is he? Where does he come from? Why does he have a blindfold on? I don't know. I don't know. And because he has so much testosterone that his eyes shoot shark shaped explosions. Okay, that's exactly what I'm talking about. As fucking awesome as that is, nothing about it is explained. Who are the people on the stilts in the swamp? What is the basis behind this crazy cult religion? Who are the people he hallucinates about? His family? People he let die? Or are they just hallucinations? None of this is ever talked about. It doesn't need to be talked about. Here. Will you watch the fucking road? Weird ass guitar guy, unleash your phallic rage! Are those dinosaur missiles? So a lazy film gives you a blank page, something you've seen a million times. And a film trying too hard gives you too much, so you can't make it out. Fury Road doesn't give you all the information, but it lets you see it for what it is. It allows you to become more engaged because you can connect all the dots. Like how I'm not questioning why there's fucking dinosaur missiles flying at me. It just seems like something this crazy ass world will create. Exactly. Just because there's no details doesn't mean there's no answers. Ow. Speaking of answers, how the hell is he constantly missing us? How the hell are you constantly missing them? What are you blind? A little bit. We'll snip them out and send them to Valhalla or whatever the hell we believe in. Oh, crap. What is it? It's more enemies to keep the energy high. Why is that bad? I thought you loved that. They're meninists. Can you believe they gave a gun to a chick in this movie? Tell me about it! A man tweeting right now to let the internet know my disgust! That's a manly thing to do! Hell yeah! They act like they're being discriminated against when a woman wants to do something that a man does. We had that. It was called the 40s. Well, they're not very good at growing up. <sighs> well, it's gotta be better than our other friends here. More meninists? No. Tom Hardy fangirls. <laughs> The women who think Tom Hardy is the second coming of Christ for some reason. Really? I mean, he's a good actor, but who would go crazy over him? Probably someone who spends their whole entire life obsessing over fan bases. Hi, Critic! Punchline? I mean, Hyper? I found a new calling, Critic, converting everyone to the miracle of Tom Hardy. Oh, praise he. Well, I'm glad you found something more sensible. It's about time the world saw what an incredible talent he is. 
And you don't think any of that stems from mere physical attraction? No! No, since he's a feminist, it would be hypocritical to love him just for his looks. Well, Mark Ruffalo's a feminist. Yeah. Patrick Stewart's a feminist. Uh, well, Louis C.K.'s a feminist. Uh, yeah. He's even balder. But Tom loves dogs. The the Tom, Tom loves dogs. dogs. Do you know how hard it is to find a man who likes dogs? <sighs> Look, whatever your attraction, you can't act like Tom Hardy's one of the best things in this movie. Don't get me wrong, he does a fine job, he does just as well as Gibson. But through his minimal dialogue and mostly dubbed over lines that are strangely more obvious than when he did Bane, he's serviceable at best. Which is really all what Max is supposed to be anyway. But the work of his body! I mean, the body of his work! Yeah, you tell those feminazis! Ugh. Yeah, Max was barely in the film! He spent half the time letting some broad do all the fighting! Yeah! So, you're saying what the rest of the world sees as the manliest movie ever made, you see as being too girly. Man, yes! It's a disgrace to everything that Mad Max stands for. Yeah! Well, that's interesting, because there is a Mad Max movie where he appears even less in it and spends most of the time talking about his feelings. But, really? Which one? The original, you fucking moron! In proportion of the running time, Mad Max appears less on screen in the first film than he does in Fury Road. He doesn't even do anything that violent until the final third. On top of that, much like every George Miller film, the least interesting character is always the main character. It's the environment that always takes center stage. Max is merely the observer. It's like saying you wanted more Alice in Alice in Wonderland. It's just not how it works. Yeah, but he's working with a woman and even taking orders from her. And Max never does that. Oh, you mean like in Thunderdome when he specifically goes to a woman saying, I'm looking for a job, please give me orders? You actually liked Thunderdome? Look, imagine for a minute that Charlize Theron's character wasn't a woman. No! no! You're way too close-minded for that. Well, let's pretend that you pretended. Max used to have friends in the police force before he went rogue, so the idea of him being able to work with someone again is actually kind of uplifting for Max's character. He spends so much of the other movies just doing everything alone that to finally find someone to work by his side, you could argue gives a link back to his humanity. Actually brought something to the character that's relatively new. But that doesn't coincide with the teachings of our one true leader. Oh, and who is your one true leader? Michael Bay, the master of action here. Now, Critic, as we all know, if you really wanted this to be a manly movie, you'd make it at least three more hours long. And the women should be draped across the cars, not driving them. That's like me showing female military in a movie. You all know it's never gonna happen. And I can make out way too much what was going on. Clearly the car should have been computer generated instead of the backgrounds. <laughs> you had it the other way around. I imagine you're driving one of those computer-generated cars now, aren't you? Well, yes I do, but why would you want to know John! That? Autobots transform! Ah! Oh dear, now I'll never see the flower show. What was that? I don't know, my son needs to compensate even more! Bring me the giant swingy stick thing! I feel like our weaponry is too stick-heavy. Stick me! Ah! Hey, Skeleton Shredder. I think I figure out a way to get out of that car and blow him this memory! Destroy the mediocre critic and his mediocre mind, and I myself will carry you to the premiere of the next Mad Max movie. Oh, you'll need to do that, I just like killing stuff. You will walk the red carpet, shooting and glazed. Now, out you go! Ah! ah! Grossly inadequate for the task at hand! Too far gone. I guess I shouldn't have milked that slow mo shot. But at least it gave the audience a chance to catch their breath. You good? Great. Back to the action! Oh my god! Are you Devil Boner? You're like the manliest man god of men! Yeah, I am! But who are you? We're men in this. We stand up for our right to be men. Hey, now that's a cause I can get behind! Scoot over! So. What manly things you do? You play football or you build muscle? No, we make rant videos. What? I have two YouTube subscribers. Of course, it's these guys.
So if Thunderdome's your favorite, which one's your least favorite? Well, I love them all, but if I have to answer the question, it used to be the first one, but now with Fury Road, it might be Road Warrior. Wow, those are the two that people liked the most. I mean, the comment section is already planning your death. But to Fury Road's credit, it kind of changed everything. Each movie had their own distinct feel. The first a low-budget exploitation film, Thunderdome a survival flick, and Road Warrior a chase movie. But the problem is Fury Road is a chase movie too. They both focus on the action and stunts rather than twists and turns in the story. Because Fury Road is so much better, there's barely a reason to even watch Road Warrior now. It just feels like a slower version of Fury Road. But it was the first one to give Mad Max its style. That is true. Road Warrior is considered by many to be the first real Mad Max movie, in that it takes place in the desert and focuses more on the action-packed loner. The first one is a revenge story, and even then, not until the very end. Story-wise and stylistically, it has the least amount to do with the others. Actually, seeing as the movies are called Mad Max, and he never really seems that mad, maybe all the other movies are in his head. Actually, that kind of makes sense. I wrote a fan fiction about that! <laughs> Maybe he went nuts after his wife and kid died. In many respects, the films do kind of keep repeating themselves. There's always a tyrant. There's always a group of people he doesn't want to save, but gets shoehorned into doing so. There's often religious figures, gang culture, pigs, an old woman with a shotgun, a wild kid, or kids. And no places that look anything like the first movie. They even use the same actors in different roles. Truth be told, it's actually not that bad a theory. Great! So does that mean you've accepted Hardy as your one true Max? I'm sorry, but I still think Thunderdome is better. Oh, Really? With all the other films, you knew what it was going to be in the first few minutes. With Thunderdome, it kept you guessing. It changed up locations, it threw in new characters. And it wasn't all one big chase. The hell was that? I think Impractical Joe is impractically using his impractical swingy sticks. You will walk the red carpet, sugar the glazed. You will walk the red carpet, sugar the glazed. You will walk the red carpet, sugar the glazed. You will walk the red carpet, sugar the glazed. It's raining men! Hallelujah. Popsicles! I'm out of fanboys to launch! Jesus! I'm not okay. I wonder if the men in this are having this much fun. And how dare George Miller have all the male penguins and happy feet stay with the kids! Yeah, while well, all the women penguin did all the hunting! Because that's what penguins do! Well, they should change that! Women ruin everything, like in Mad Max! So, is this all you guys do? You just sit around, complain how you hate hot women, and you want to see more shirtless buff men? Man, yes! Are you guys gay? I, I mean, it's fine if you are, but you clearly got some anger oh, issues you need no, to address. No, we're, we're not anti-gay. No, 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 no. We're very fair in our hatred. Yeah, it's just women we hate. Yeah! We've had hundreds of years of advantage and we're not giving it up now. Yeah! Now let's go watch Pain and Gain. That's a straight movie. Ooh, I do a commentary on that. Extend the mechanical claws of grabbiness. All right, there's nobody left, just me. I'm sorry, but Fury Road is just one big chase and I can't see what's so brilliant about that. Oh my god. I see now. I get it. I know why Fury Road is a brilliant film. It finally hit me. I know now not only why it's genius, but it's the most ingenious out of all the Mad Max movies. Why? I, I, don't you see what this is? Don't you see what this all is? A Roadrunner cartoon? What are you talking about? The Roadrunner cartoons have lasted for years. With little to no dialogue, quickly identifiable characters, and nothing but chases. People see it as classic because it's so minimal and yet so interesting. It says so much with just a few clever choices. Fury Road is the same way. Just because it's all one big chase doesn't mean that it isn't smart. And it doesn't mean that it's not a game changer. As much as I love Thunderdome, there are a few scenes that are kind of boring and I can skip. But with Fury Road, I can't imagine skipping any of it. It's all amazing to witness. From the music to the action to cutting out anything that's simply not needed, it gets right to what people want to see and keeps them there throughout the entire flick. 
I can hardly think of any other film that did that throughout the entire thing. You were right. You've always been right. Fury Road is the better flick. Hey, Impractical Joe, I... I don't think he wants to listen. Hang on. <laughs> Sharp turn. Ah! And that's why Samus should have been a man. What are you doing? I have an idea. I can't see a thing with this on. I'm, I'm just going to take it off. I am the Redeemer. I am the Savior. I am in deep shit. something I didn't think I would see today. Hey! Ugh, oh, I forgot about national insecurity. They can't have a woman do that! You should have let the critic do it! Yeah! Wait, I know how to shut him the fuck up. Stop the car! Everybody out! Go out there. What? Trust me, they're men in this. Just go out there. Boy, we're gonna show them. I've actually talked to a woman before, right? Uh, you wanna go out? Oh, thank God! If I gotta listen to these pussies one more time, I was gonna shoot my balls off! Thank God you stopped. We really needed a pee break. Hey, look, Devil Bone was on her side. Traitor! You ain't no man. Yeah! And you are? Christ, if you're the future one being a man, is slap a fucking vagina on me! I might try to be a badass like her, the whiny little bitches like you! Hey, here's a thought. If you have to complain about how someone's stealing your manhood, chances are you never had your manhood to begin with! What are you, five? You're afraid you're gonna get cooties? And how's that working out for you anyway? Are women just falling at your feet because you bitch and complain about them online? Real chick magnet, guys. You must get laid a lot! You know what? Keep living in your mama's basement because the grown-ups are gonna make a more badass world and we don't need your crybaby tears poison it up! Are you single? I can be. And now a message from the President of the United States. My fellow Americans, in light of the recent Meninist movement, all female soldiers shall be immediately removed because women shouldn't be fighters for saving men. Yeah! Now that's what I'm talking about. Really? Instead, all female soldiers are to be replaced with meninists. Yeah! Uh -huh. Seeing as how they complain that only men should do the fighting, they are to take their place and be deployed immediately. Guess what, guys? I just got a new job! Yeah! Thus, all female soldiers shall be rewarded with a Tom Hardy movie marathon. Who, as we all know, is a method actor. Oh, I didn't know that. So, uh, are you a feminist? I'm whatever you want me to be. It's over. Everyone's cheering because we destroyed Impractical Joe and all is right in the world. Wait, that's it? He didn't have any followers or anything like that? It's kind of like the Death Star. Once it's gone, you don't really question the logistics of it. Huh. Well, I've learned what a phenomenal film Fury Road truly is, and that it has earned its place rightfully in film history. Hey, that reminds me. What is your name, anyways? Critic. My name is Critic. That wasn't as shocking as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it is the title. I don't know why we thought that would be such a big deal. Well, why don't you just end things in a typical Fury Road way? Oh, you mean with a visual that seems half ass but is actually badass? Yep.
You will walk the red carpet, sugar that glazed. Hey everybody, Doug Walker here doing the charity shout out. Sadly, I don't have any video for you this time, but I do have pictures and I'm even in a few of them. Uh, and speaking of which, do you like comics or manga? If you're watching me, you probably do. Uh, this charity is actually for the Carolina Manga Library. This is a traveling charity that tries to raise awareness and teach literacy through mangas and comic books. They travel from uh, con to con, they travel from school to school, they do all sorts of various events, and pretty much the idea is to teach you reading through manga and comic books because a lot of people don't see that as reading, and of course it is. You can also get some wonderful artwork, you can find out new ways of discovering storytelling, and this very much is allowing people, adults and kids alike, to find a place where they can read some of their favorite stories, donate books if you would like, and help spread awareness that reading is important, everyone needs to do it, and it only makes you smarter and more creative. They have access to tons and tons of comics and mangas. You remember those old Zelda comics from Nintendo Power? Yeah, they got those. They got the Avatar comics, they have tons from Japan, they have a ton of American ones as well. The list just keeps going. If you have a couple of bucks to spend, a couple of comics to give, or even just want to spread the word that literacy is important, definitely drop by this address and check them out.